I'm Brian Bailey with JTEC and today I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the valve lash on a C7 Caterpillar. Alright, so I won the manual and got all the specs written down. So first we're going to go to top dead center, center uh, number one compression and we're going to adjust number one, two, and four intake and one, three, and five exhaust. Alright, so here's number one right here. What you're going to do is take the, uh, take the lock nut loose. Get you 25,000 spiller gauge for the exhaust. Let it loosen it up a little bit. And then you gotta get it where it's snug in there because you don't want to get it too tight. Alright, so that's good right there. And make sure you hold this and then tighten the lock nut. And then you gotta check it after. Make sure it's still, sometimes it'll come loose. Alright, so that one's good. And we're gonna go to number three exhaust. Right, get your 25,000 out. That one's snug now, so. Yeah, like right there. Just cut. Right there. Stop. Alright. Check that one real quick again. Yep, still good. And then we're gonna get it number five. Alright, now we're going to do the intake valves 1, 2, and 4. So, come over here. This, the smaller one's the intake valve. And get the 15,000 valves itself. Alright, that's snug, so. Alright, now we're gonna get a two. And then you got a number four. All right, so that's that's it for number one, top dead center compression. The next thing you would do is take the uh, take this Tommy pin out, spin the uh, spin the crank 360 degrees all the way to top dead center six exhaust, 
and then you would adjust intake three, five, and six, and then exhaust two, four, and six. And after you're all said and done with all that, you have to torque these lock nuts to uh, 17 to 27 foot pounds. And that's how you uh, adjust the valve lash on a Caterpillar C7.